Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. So we are today on version 11.4.7.3. So I already did my first impressions. If you haven't seen that on this version, you can check it out up on the top right. Today we have a special video. So we are actually on our first snow day today. Uh, it's been snowing the whole day in the morning, but uh, right now it actually is starting to get heavier so I thought I'll get out and do a video before daytime goes out so here we go we're gonna engage FSD from here let's see how it goes uh, I actually need to adjust my autopilot speed so I normally run with a plus eight but with this uh, I'm probably gonna start with a minus five speed limit uh, adjustment and let's uh, reset the speed and here we go okay so if you haven't seen actually I've done a video with snow on end of last winter with version 11 and it actually performed okay all right let's see how it does with the, the pedestrians crossing over here it stops very slowly and I actually haven't checked but it has to stop okay stop now so I have uh, I need to check uh, because I haven't really seen if uh, my my tires are on winter settings it's kind of like a slow takeoff there for for this I don't know if uh, it, uh, we actually get the message full self driving has been degraded so yeah the wipers are working okay um, so yeah, if, you, if you haven't noticed the, the wipers have been also acting up on dry conditions with the new version So obviously the snow is not yet sticking to the to the surface of the road, but uh, it is accumulating a little bit uh, since the temperature is not actually that high yet. I mean that low yet. <laughs> All right, then we should be coming up to our first first destination here. I'll just disengage. Let's see if we can continue trip. Okay. So if you haven't done yet, and if you like my testing, please hit like and please subscribe to the channel. It will help, help me a lot. Um, coming up over here on the right turn. Cutting it close to that truck over there. And I think that's a good call because you never know if there's incoming traffic. So hopefully in the forecast it shows that it's been uh, snowing for, it's going to be snowing for the next uh, hours, maybe overnight, and uh, hopefully tomorrow morning there'll be a little bit more snow than this, and we can uh, test FSD with very uh, snowy conditions. With uh, actually the snow covered uh, roads, that'll be interesting to see. Okay. Coming up to this yield here, it's not really checking visibility for the left. It's kind of just uh, driving through, which is not great. Um, I did have a look at the left-hand side. There was uh, no traffic, but yeah, that wasn't really good behavior. And we've seen this before. We've seen, uh, even without snow conditions, we've seen that the uh, uh, autopilot uh, or full self-driving treats the yield sign with no sometimes by just passing it without even uh, yielding and checking for visibility. So if you folks want to try FSD, you can do that right now. I've got a referral code down in the description below and I'll post it on the video at the bottom. So if you follow tinyurl.com slash coldenv, you'll be able to get three months off uh, free FSD when you buy your Tesla car. And you'll also get uh, around 375 I think dollars off your next car so I think they just uh, recently changed it uh, but yeah if you follow my my link you'll uh, you'll be able to do that and you can also book your demo car as well through my referral link link, link and demo the Tesla car and t take it for a test drive all right so this is a uh, intersection over here where we'll be taking a left turn we have to yield for that uh, and it looks like yeah and it's committing and a little bit of a aggressive accelerator there it seems like the that car was not very 
was waiting for that car to do that turn and that car was taking a long time to do that turn but we both had our signals on so it was a safe uh, safe behavior I would say okay so that was an unprotected left but uh, there was no traffic and no cars so that was uh, handled very well gonna get us to continue our trip over here let's see if it's gonna make that u-turn over here so that'll be interesting to see I've done that u-turn before and I've done it in snow conditions as well and it does it very well okay and a little bit of uh, vibration there or uh, it's gonna stop here and it's gonna creep forward it's gonna wait for that car to go and it's going to actually do this turn let's see if it does it oh it looks like it stopped so I'm gonna give it a tap here we've got a car behind us okay now I stopped tapping and let's see if it's gonna make this u-turn yes it does so it just needs a little bit of an encouragement there a little bit of a tap uh, on the accelerator there to just get it to commit for this u-turn it's stopping very far away from uh, the intersection here and look at that creep wall it's like miles away <laughs> all right so it's clear on the left should be able to go i can definitely see that uh, it's performing very well i don't think there's much difference it's going to wait for that incoming traffic there to pass. Okay, and... Uh, very slow on takeoff here, to be honest. And that's generally with version 11, though. Like, it's not specific to snow conditions, so I don't think that's really affecting it. another slow takeoff here I wonder if it's doing it deliberately with because of snow so it'll be interesting to see uh, we'll obviously keep testing this and, and see if there's there's any difference because of snow because um, yeah typically without snow it's a little bit more aggressive on the takeoff but I also applied a minus 5% delta on my autopilot speed limit. So that also could be playing a role in this uh, slow takeoff behavior. Actually here, I'll mix it up a little bit. Let's, uh, let's go back and bump this up. Let's keep it at 0% and let's see how it does with a zero delta on the speed limit so so far it's going well I've had one intervention and again if you like this video and if you like this testing with snow please hit like and please subscribe so that you can see the next videos that are going to be coming out um, I'm going to post a lot of videos on winter testing so excited very excited to see how FSD is performing compared to last winter I am rocking um, a Michelin X Ice tires as winter tires. I actually don't recommend them. I think if you live in a condition where you get a lot of snow and ice forming up, and um, it gets, uh, it comes to a point where it becomes the streets become very icy, and your car is still slipping and sliding, uh, fishtailing mostly with Model Y because the power and the bot the the unit in the back or the motor in the rear is more stronger than a motor in the front for the all-wheel drive long-range vehicles so I recommend having studded tires actually I can't really get away with studded tires because of the garage um, it'll, it'll beat up your garage flooring if you have any green light but 
it doesn't take off, so I'm going to give it a tap here. Another tap, just because it doesn't seem to... It doesn't seem to take off there. Interesting. Acceleration is very steady but slow. And now we actually built up the speed to the speed limit of the road. So it took a while. Okay, we've got the flashing green light. Our car is still not, not going ahead. And I have to tap the accelerator there again. Interesting, I've, you know, that is definitely snow, uh, due to snow uh, conditions, because I haven't seen this much uh, no takeoff at green light uh, at intersections for a while now. Hopefully this data will help uh, feed back to the team and and uh, get version 11 a little bit more better with, with takeoffs. I'm going to slow down here just because this is a 30 kilometer speed zone, but we're not slowing down. So and that was very good behavior with the bike driving on our right hand side. It kind of, or the cyclist. Um, I, I'm actually surprised there's a cyclist out in this weather. <laughs> okay, so we're entering over here. Nice right turn, very smoothly done. Slows down to 40. There's a car, there's a truck that is parking currently right now. Shouldn't be an issue. We shouldn't really be stopping. Oh. And we're stopping because of the navigation, so apologies about that. Let's continue trip. Here we go. So yeah, that was just the waypoint there. Whoa, and here we go, some sliding action. It actually didn't flip over the... Uh, take over immediately sign or anything like that so quite happy with that Oops, and we should be slowing down here it's a playground zone now we're coming up to a left turn and here we go we've got a road completely covered with snow over here just for a short segment and yeah this is usual behavior this road is an unmarked road anyhow so it's not really gonna act anything any differently than the usual. That's clear on the left. It actually does slow down a bit. That was a very good yield um, yield approach to, uh, approach to a yield intersection. That was really good. You know, it doesn't completely stop, but it slows down to a point where it can check for visibility before going ahead. And it's creeping forward over here on a red light, and it's clear on the left, so very good, very good. That was nicely done. Okay, so we should be changing lanes over here just to make it to the grocery store. Yeah, changing lanes on an intersection is not very wise. And now it's coming up over here on this left turn. Slowing down all the way. It's going to have to stop for that incoming traffic there. Now that it's clear, we should see the commit. Oh, there's a cyclist over there. And now this person is going to drive in front of us. Okay, that's okay though. FSD Beta waited and approached into the parking lot. Look at that. And it took us all the way to the grocery store. Okay, very good. Um, happy very happy with uh the drive there is a few uh oh here we go we're messing up our windshield yeah so um yeah it's a few stops at the intersection where the traffic light actually turns green but we don't go ahead that's that's the biggest uh biggest uh, pointer i guess uh that we 
probably need like improvement on. Uh, but other than that, it uh, performed very well. Uh, we did fishtail a little bit at one of the turns, but um, it was it was really good at handling that. So, yeah. Thank you, folks, for watching. I'll probably film another one if uh, you know road conditions get worse, visibility on the road becomes less. We did get a chance to see it drive on um, a road covered with snow. It's a very short segment, but it's also an unmarked road at the same time. So we didn't really get to see it tap into, you know, neural nets or anything like that to visualize the uh, the, the set limits of the street and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, but that was very good. Again, uh, folks, if you're looking at buying a car, uh, please use my referral code. It'll help me a lot. I'm trying to catch up on uh, some referrals. I uh, haven't really got any yet, so really appreciate your support there. Um, yeah, and um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, to continue looking at uh, checking out my videos as they roll out. So thanks to everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.